Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio and welcome to the Art and Soul Studio January 2018 Challenge and I'm calling this piece Portals Through Time and Space. Now the Art and Soul Studio is a Facebook group that I co-host with Diana from the YouTube channel Artfully Yours with Diana. And for this month, she suggested that we take something like a journal page or a canvas or whatever and journal out all the kind of negativity from 2017. And then we cover that over with kind of positive thoughts, positive images, good intentions or whatever for 2018. So this is my take on that challenge. So I've taken one of my journals and I have many journals on the go and uh, one of the things I want to do this year is to try and actually finish some. I have so many journals that have blank pages, I just never seem to get them finished. But this year I'm going to try and finish them. So I'm taking a page and it already has some stamping on the page. Sometimes when I get a new journal, the first thing I'll, uh, I will do is to actually just sit and put some stamps in it or make some marks in it or whatever. So anyway, I've chosen this page which already had this stamp. And all I'm going to do now is to actually journal out not just the kind of negative things from 2017, but also in my mind is to include some of the good stuff that happened. So I'm very much writing this in a way that won't be legible. You know, obviously I don't want it all to be on the internet for the whole world to see. Not that the whole world's watching my channel, but I'm sure you know what I mean. So what I decided to do was that every time when I was journaling, when I came across a word that I would describe as a positive word, I would stop and I'd let my brain register that word and then I'd write it and I'd put a circle or a kind of oval round it. And this way I was feeling that although there was stuff that wasn't good in 2017, there's a lot of stuff not good in 2017, it also just kind of reflected some of the good stuff, some of it that came from the less good and, and some of it just nice and lovely stuff that happened anyway. And so I'm journaling along the page here and as I say every time I come across one of those words that I think is a positive word I just stop, I register it and then I move on and uh, write a bit more. So I'm going to skip forward now to when the page is complete. So I can tell from the film that uh, I actually spent around eight minutes just writing things out. I went across the page, I went up and down the way, I uh, turned it around again and just kept writing until I felt I had covered everything that I wanted to cover. Now all I'm doing now is to take a, a kind of fine liner and I'm just going around the words. I'd already gone around them in pencil but because I'd been writing, you know, on top of other writing. Uh, I just wanted to make certain that I didn't lose any of those positive words. So I just spent a bit of time going round them to make sure that come the next stage I didn't lose them. And what I'm doing now is I just want to take some colour and I'm going to start to go over the words in the background. And at this stage I'm just using some watercolours uh, just giving them a bit of a spray. And again, as with my kind of new series in which I'm making a, a positivity deck, I'm very much trying to be mindful and in the moment when I'm doing this. Very intentional. And you'll see me time after time kind of circling those words, reinforcing, in a sense, those, those good positive things that I've brought forward from 2017 into 2018. And today I was kind of drawn to these colours, kind of purples and the blues. I think I uh, take a little bit of green as well at some point. And I'm just very slowly and 
almost deliberately, just circling those words. In some senses, almost linking them together, just as I take my paintbrush around others. And then once that's done, I'll just give this layer a quick dry before I move on to the next step. So at this point I started to think about that notion of time, crossing over from 2017 to 2018. And I remembered that I had a, a stamp that had a, a clock on it, and I decided that what I wanted to do was to just stamp the clock stamp in several places on my page and I just use some black stays on ink to do this. Once I've done that, I take some of this fluid acrylic purple and I start to paint that around the page. And again, just being very intentional, very mindful. Now all I'm going to do is take a little bit of water on my brush and just start to spread that out. Now this particular paint is fairly transparent, although it does cover up most of the writing that's underneath because it already has that kind of layer of watercolour. It doesn't cover it all, but it, you know, it's sufficient in what it does cover. But what I like about it is it still allows what I've stamped to actually show through and I wanted to, on this occasion, retain that. I wanted to see the clock that had been stamped and also those circles that were already on the page. And again I just make my way around the words. I'm not too concerned if some of it goes uh, onto to, to the bit that I'd circled for the words because I will be doing more of that later. After the purple, I then take this green-yellow fluid acrylic as well and just start to add it in places just to get give a bit of kind of added interest and a bit more depth to the page. And again, just a little bit of water. Again, going around the words in places, but uh, still leaving them, them showing, although not too concerned if it goes over the edges. So 
So at this point I decide that I want to just note down all the words that I have circled because I'm actually going to fill the words in with some black paint or fill in the ovals anyway with black paint. So I want to make sure that I've captured everything and I also want to capture it in the actual direction that it's going. Not that that's important but it's just the way I'd uh, written it down so I wanted it to, to stay that way. And now I'm just going to take the black paint and I will fill in each of the ovals. And I'm making it quite a thick layer, although I do need to just add a little bit of water because the paint is very thick. And as far as possible, trying to get a nice clean edge on it, but, you know, not too concerned if it's slightly ragged. And so I'll continue around the whole page until all the ovals are filled in with black. So once that's done, I then dry it off because the paint was quite thick and I want to write on top of it. And I'm now taking a white Posca pen and I'm going to get my little list of words again and then I'm going to write them back in into place. And I found it very interesting, the words that's actually come out in this exercise for me. And in fact, there's probably more positive words came out than perhaps I had been expecting. So I was really pleased that I did the exercise this way. So once that was done, I felt that I actually wanted to kind of highlight the words even more. So I took this gold metallic marker and all I do here is to kind of frame them. I'm sorry, my head is getting in the picture a bit. I was having to go close just to see where I was marking. And again, I go th round all the words in the same way. And once that was done, I decided just to do a bit of journaling. Now, you'd be very welcome to join Diana and I in the Art and Soul Studio Facebook group. 
just send us a join request and we'd be happy to see you there. And if you're not in the group and you're not interested in joining, please feel free to, to still do the challenge if you would like to. So I saw this as portals through time and space. So having reflected on 2017 and what I wanted or what I could bring from it into 2018, I then decided on bringing forward the positive into 2018. And then all I do is a few finishing touches. I do go over the writing once more and then I just do a few finishing touches just to highlight that circle stamp that it was initially on there because I started to think that this was kind of like the portals helping to bring forward the good things from 2017 to 2018. So I hope you've enjoyed my take on the Art and Soul Studio Facebook group January Challenge. And, uh, you know, if you do want to participate in the challenge and would like to show us what you do, then please do come and join us in the group. We'd love to see you there. But meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.